All right, Leo. Extended. Not only is the coin coming in, but love is coming in. You know, expressing your desires, expressing your creativity. That's what is key. You know what I mean? That's what's key. Like the past few months, your energy was coming out in the readings. Like fifth house. It just kept saying, like, everything fifth house. You know, romance, love, children, you know, expressing your creativity. All of that was just being mirrored to you in the past couple of readings. Yeah, this is going to be unexpected, I feel like. Yeah, the reciprocity, the loan coming through. Okay, what's this? Yeah, I said it's going to come in fast. Eight of Wands. I feel like the, any delays that may have been in place, um, it's not going to be long that you would have to wait if you did have to wait for this. You know, things are going to be moving Let's say it's a grant, you know, for this greenhouse or, you know, this garden or an event place or something like that. I'm telling you. Oh, oh, is that, that's kind of too many. I'll take these first two. Yeah, your intuition coming through. I'm telling you right now. Prince of Wands. Ace of Cups, new relation, new relationship. I'm sorry. <laughs> new gifts. All right. Like you being able to help other people too. Like this abundance is not just coming in for you, for you, for, for yourself. This abundance is coming in so you could be of service to other people. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like a, a, a store. I'm seeing maybe a health food store. Okay, let's say you want to open a health food store. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing that. Yes. Yes, this idea for you to be your own business person or like this new blog or like let's say interviewing people okay and you're gonna love it you're gonna be so happy you're gonna be so happy does something flip over the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune your passions you're gonna be able to use your passions then okay you you're gonna be worried about the happiness coming in, you're gonna be a little worried about it. Um, but I feel like don't let the worries or feeling overwhelmed, you know, overshadow this blessing. I feel like you may feel like this is too good to be true, possibly. You might be like, how fast everything happens, how swift everything just begins to change. You may feel like it's just too good to be true. You know what I mean? You may have your mind. Okay, that's what that could be, the nine of swords. Your mind could still be on the old cycle. Okay, on the old track. But Spirit is like, listen, things is going to be moving in your favor. Straight like that, Leo. Listen, yo. So, look, chemistry. Flirting. That's the Ten of Cups. You're going to be so happy. You're going to be, uh, you know, doing what you love. With a person that you love. Straight like that. Clearing that energy from the old cycle. Any old relationships. Okay. 
clearer now. I feel like too, like your past relationship, you were not getting the reciprocity that you deserve. And you had to heal from this relationship. And this is why someone new is coming in. And I feel like you're going to be so surprised at how fast things progress. Yeah, you're going to have to uh, temper those passions because you don't want to move too fast. You don't want to you don't want to move too fast. Yeah, because it's going to be magnetic. It's going to be magnetic. <laughs> ooh -wee. I'm telling you, this person going to just come and slide into your life. Possibly slide into them DMs. Oh, reconciliation. Okay, okay. Okay. Listen, you know. I feel like, it, you know, reconciliation can be anything. It could be anyone coming back into your life. It could be someone who was a friend and now they're coming back as a lover, you know? So, huh? children, finances and career is most up on the increase, you know? So now, now you'll be able to foster this relationship. That's what I'm saying, like, you know, your children, <coughs> you're going to see, like, maybe your parents, <laughs> wait, let me finish this thought, you may see your parents, you know, come out in your children, okay, and even, uh, some feminine energy within your family may have some good advice for you as well. But what? <laughs> Twin flames, all right. Yin yang energy, union, duality, complement, complement each other. Somebody that complement. Oh, look at this. The phoenix. See? New phase. Rekindle. All right? C could be rekindling the chemistry within a relationship. Start flirting again. All right, transforming growth, change, mind, mirroring each other, self image, relationships, reflect our moods, introspection. Wow, you could have also been doing a lot of mirror magic. Okay, those positive affirmations while you're looking in the mirror. Self-indulgence. Focus on this, your self-work. Time to heal. Shadow work. Self-appreciation. That's that nurturing yourself. Wow. Huh? The snake. Yeah, competition. Enemy. Clever. What did I see? Clever. Malicious. Look over your shoulder. The other one. Yeah. There was definitely, with the trickery card here, there was definitely someone in, okay, seduction, attraction, flirting, you got flirt twice, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference, maybe that's what it is, like you're moving on and possibly your ex is seeing that you're moving on and they want to, they want to be an impediment to that. Okay, and then maybe that's what you're worried about, too. Like, yo, I don't want my ex ruining this for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't hate, yup. The don't hate. Like, don't hate because I'm moving on. Don't hate because somebody's treasuring what you had and you didn't treasure it. Okay? Don't hate because I healed myself. And I'm moving. I'm just straight up. Okay, what is that? Is that what I think it is? Okay, holding on to gifts, love letters. 
and that could be the energy of clearing out from an ex like you know gifts that they could have given you love letters anything like that we had to clear that energy out what is this what is this this card is sticking hold on yeah see don't want to let you go look at that yep don't want the secrets to get out you might have to move in silence you know with these new, especially with this new abundance and all of this you want to increase your achieving certain things you most definitely I don't know you most definitely are going to have to uh, keep that on the hush hush yeah definitely it's somebody there's a new attraction you know and don't let your ex try to seduce you either because they know what you like you know or they know what to say because that's what they're gonna do yeah somebody wants to be forgiven repenting seeking forgiveness self-forgiveness restoring faith yeah restoring faith into yourself that you can achieve this. That you deserve this. New beginning. Okay. Ooh, vacation. Short, short trip. Yeah, see? Disputes. Drama. Unexpected changes. That's the top. It's like unexpectedly um, moving into... Look. Okay, this is your shadow aspect. Is the ego. Fear, negative thoughts, feeling stuck, feeling alone. All right? When you have your spirit team, you got family, friends, that's going to help you move into this new cycle. All right? You're not alone. You have people who do care about you. And once you let go of the old, this new is gonna, is what's going to come in. You know? Being, being grateful for what you have brings in more. All right, let's read. Let's read that abundance. Hold on. This night air got my allergies starting up. Yeah, it's time to nurture yourself. All right, before I do that, I almost forgot. Yeah, because let's see. Let's see who this snake energy is. You know, let's see who is coming in, you know. A little ambiguous. Yeah, with the seduction. You know, is it like flirting? Are you dating somebody new? Oh, look at that. Young male. Uh huh. Oof. Destiny. You see that five? Fifth house. That's you again. You got twin flame twice, my dude. Twice. Leo. Look at that. Karma. You got twin flames. Twice. Somebody is definitely coming in that is going to compliment your energy, yo. Straight up counterpart. Ah. Uh, Could be at a distance. Yeah, people want to talk, most definitely. Especially if you're going to be dealing with somebody younger. All right. Fair male. Could be, this is like the same person. Yeah. They definitely going to gossip. Like, how dare you move on? Can you believe it? Could you believe it? <laughs> Could you believe it? All right, 38. The Hunter Moon Abundance. Take advantage of this time of abundance. It is all around you. Possibility and opportunity are everywhere. 
you are open and responsive to the abundance around you. There is enough for everyone. I am abundant and I am surrounded by opportunity. The hunting moon is the traditional moon of plenty. It was when game was at its most plentiful so the people would not go hungry. The moon was large and bright in the sky and in some case, cases deep orange and there was a great deal of light to go hunting well into the evening. Our ancient ancestors couldn't just go off to the market to buy what they needed to eat. Meat didn't come on trays wrapped in plastic. Eggs were gathered. Warm clothing was made from skins of the same animals that were hunted for meat. Nothing was wasted. This abundance was part of a cycle just like any other. It wasn't present all the time. So this time of the year was to be taken advantage of while the going was good. The bitterness of winter would soon return. Hunters had to be prepared. They had to have their weapons ready and their tracking skills honed. As modern people, we are less used to these natural cycles of plenty and barrenness because most of us have stepped away from growing food and the natural environment. However, these cycles are still there, even if we are not part of them consciously. This moon normally rises in October in the northern hemisphere, and so was and so was before the winter snows. Ooh, companion song, Citrine. Yes, Citrine. One of my favorites. Definitely. That correlates also to the sacral uh, chakra. Wow. You had to prepare yourself. Right. That's what I said. I feel like you were being frugal. You were um, saving your money. You were staying focused on the task at hand. You know, you were you were definitely busy, uh, you know, making these great achievements. Working on goals. You know, checking off, checking off, ticking off boxes. Okay. Applying for loans and grants. Yeah. Yeah. Setting yourself up. Why not? Why not? This is dope, Leo. You got twin flames twice. You got your destiny covered in. This is yours. Claim it. Keep it under wraps. I, definitely. Because this is too good. This is too good. And eventually it's going to come out and people are going to see. People going to know. And they're going to talk. So what? Your ex is going to try to get you back. So what? You are ready to move on. This is a wrap. Don't get stuck in, you know, feeling alone or feeling like, you know, I've been working, you know. Nah, don't get stuck on that, you know. Yeah, recreate yourself. New beginning. It's a new, it's a new cycle. New growth. Transition. Okay? Because you changed your mind on what you deserve. Leo, I'm going to see y'all in the check-in. Peace.